Hey, what is going on ladies and gentlemen? So today is going to be a little bit different of a video. It's time for a story. So, let's go all the way back in time to my very first week of Overwatch. This was in February, right around when the Year of the Rooster event was kicking off. Or maybe the middle of it, I don't really remember. But, fun fact, my friends actually bought this game for me because it was on sale, and even though my birthday is several months after February, we all agreed that it would be my gift from them. At the time, I didn't think much of Overwatch, hey, it's just another shooter, was my level of enthusiasm back then. Nothing close to what you see me like now. So, because it was on sale, I got 5 loot boxes with the money I had left from buying the game. My friends were also really new at the game, and we didn't really know what heroes to play. We decided that the first legendary skin we get for a hero is the hero we have to main until the next legendary skin. This was a mistake. Yeah, so I got the Wukong skin for Winston, and we also agreed at that point that Winston was a really bad hero because his hitbox was massive and he barely did any damage, stuff like that. You know what? I played Winston. I played Winston with all of my might, and you know what else? I was damn garbage at him. And I'm still really bad at him, but I have never changed that Winston skin, so just as a horrible reminder of my first legendary. Anyways, I didn't play Winston in competitive if that's what you're wondering, I just really couldn't make myself do it. So, I think there was about 2 or 3 weeks left of the season and oh boy was I garbage. I tried playing Reinhardt, Bastion, and Soldier 76 mainly. If you want to know how that season went, I can tell you it was pretty awful. My placements put me in really high silver, just a little bit lower than my friends who were in gold. Funny story, my friend helped me in those placements and we literally lost every single match. He dropped like 300 SR or something, it was pretty funny, but long story short, he basically stopped playing competitive for that season. Yeah, so silver isn't a fun place to be. People who don't know what heroes to play and you get a whole bunch of noobs like me in the game too. Man, I was really bad. Anyways, I think I ended that season in like 2150 or, or something. So I got gold, which is nice, I guess. Looking back now, I should not have been as proud as I was, but hey, I was still really newbie back then. So, season four. A season to crown all of my seasons. Everything that I have ever done can be attributed to season four. I trained hard between seasons. I trained like freaking Goku on that super gravity planet thingy. I don't watch Dragon Ball, but it was like that. Clearly, I was not meant to play Hitscan. Even my vast years of training in Call of Duty could not prepare me for what Overwatch had given me with Hitscans. I was garbage. My aiming sucked, and my tracking was even worse. It was probably because in Call of the kills happen just like that. Just so quickly you don't have any time to react, but Overwatch is a completely different game here. So I grabbed some dice and I threw them to choose my new mains. That's not really what I did, but whatever. I got Farah and Zenyatta. How much more perfect can you get for a non-hit scan player? A DPS and a support. This game was clearly heaven to me at the time, so that first match after placements in Season 4 was nothing special. I was still with my buddies in a team. That was the last match of the day, and I probably played Soldier or Reinhardt like I had been during those placements, which is probably why I got Silver in the first place. But that last match was a sweet victory, and I skyrocketed like 53 SR or something into gold. It was like Christmas. I knew at that point that I was no longer a Silver player. I was actually at least gold, because two seasons proved that. So, we got offline that night. Fast forward into the season a little bit, maybe by a week or something. Now, it was at that point that I was looking for more. That adrenaline that I felt from, from ranking up, that nice feeling you get inside when you feel more powerful. <sighs> it was a Saturday. I was ready. I was prepared to walk in there and play my new mains. Game 1. I remember it very clearly. It was attack on Eichenwald. I was nearly leaping out of my chair because of how excited I was. It was the cheesiest map on the first point for Farah. I just psh, burst myself out that side door and zoomed around and over that castle wall. That day, justice truly reigned from above. This was a low gold game. Nobody knew how to stop this kind of strategy. I even took out my targets strategically. First, it was the Bastion, so there was no more counter. Then it was the Mercy, so they had limited healing, and then it just crumbled from there. If I remember correctly, we got that first point in less than a minute. I was bringing in strategies I watched online into a freaking low gold game. I was bursting at the seams with new knowledge and tactics. And the best thing, using them as Fara, because you can go off on your own and do basically whatever you want in gold as Fara. Nobody can really stop you. Nobody knows how to stop you. It was truly a wonderful time. Now, the entire day I played solo, and damn was I climbing. Although, spoilers, I did not make it into Plat that day, which is a little bit upsetting, but the next day, a beautiful Sunday in early April, I believe. My friend had just left for his five-month trip to Japan, and I was still high from that climbing the day before. 
I knew today was the day. I whipped out my new support main Zenyatta. The clouds cleared, the sun was shining, and I heard the words of a higher power telling me that today was the day I get into Platinum. And get into Platinum I did. I found an amazing team that I played with for a really long time. We had such amazing synergy in our roles, we just destroyed everyone in our path. I sent a picture of my fresh promotion to my friend group chat and my boy in Japan was like, hey, that's pretty cool. But it did not stop there. Within a week, I tell you, I was at high platinum, just struggling to get near diamond. I was so close, but after a long, difficult week or so, I made it. My beautiful diamond rank. I took another screenshot and sent it to the chat. The only response was, is Carter playing too much Overwatch again? Damn right I was, I was thinking like 28 hours a week into this game just to get that diamond rank. And if you want to know the real reason that I broke my back a couple times trying to reach for diamond, think about this. What kinds of ranks are the YouTubers you watch? I don't know how you would take it, but if a gold player was trying to give people some tips on how to play well and competitive, I don't think anybody would really listen to them. Me achieving my rank was supposed to be my backbone to what I make my videos on. It was so I could say words that would make sense no matter what rank I was in, but actually have people believe it. I have no idea if that had or has any effect, but you know what? I'm just damn proud of myself. And you know what? Any rank you climb yourself into, you should be damn proud of yourself too. This is Gutter signing off, and as always, have a fantastic day.